Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Flash Attack Reviews. I am your host, the Frankie Minion. Today we got for you Civilization Wars by TJ Carlos. The story behind this game is set in the future. After some sort of nuclear fallout, the world is almost ended. Out of the rubble though, three nations emerge. Neither one knows about the other. As a star falls from the sky to the north, the three nations go for the star for a sign of new hope. As we start off with the sound, this the sound is really good in this game. It's got it, it just fits in perfect with the theme and the way the thing the game goes. As for the graphics, the graphics for this game is extremely good. Everything is really detailed. It's just really really good. As for the fun, we give this game 3 stars. This is a really fun game. There are three different types, three different races to play. Each race has 33 levels, and each level has six options to turn on and off and two ways to play it, a zombie mode and a regular mode. You can also upgrade your skills and stuff like that, and gain and upgrade special abilities. So, if it isn't for the fact that this game's got tons of levels you can play, tons of abilities it just gives the gives the player full customization as for the difficulty I thought the difficulty was pretty good it had a pretty good flow and it didn't seem too hard in some places or too easy in other places except for I guess you could say towards when you get the falling star tribute where your guys can have plasma guns that does kind of make the game pretty easy, but other than that, I think it's, I think it's a really good game on difficulty. And here's the only part we cut off on: the length of the game is extremely long. To successfully beat one race with full attributes and every single level has every part of it beat, it takes a couple of hours, two to three. Well, it did for me. To be every race, you're going to have to play this game for a full day, if not more, depending on whether you take breaks and stuff like that. So the only bad part was, I think, the length of the game. That's why we here at Flash Attack Reviews give this game 9 stars out of 10. Thank you, everyone, and please don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.